here's actually the scene that I wanted to recreate. It's He's looking around and you can see in a lot of the shots, there's a purple and a blue. And it's almost like a day for night shot. So this is the one that I wanted to recreate and you can see the, the stars and I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be, but I'm guessing something like the Northern Lights. So I don't really have any footage like that. So I had to go and find some stuff that would work. It was kind of difficult to actually find some stuff. So. Here is my desert. So, you know, we kind of are in a desert. So here's my desertish shot and I have a some clouds. If you can see in here, there's some clouds in here that they actually darkened up quite a bit. Um, so I have this shot and then I grabbed some of these clouds and I'll show you what I did with those. And then I used a shot of just stars. So you could use uh, plates like this in any type of video footage, all of the process that I'm gonna that I'm gonna do would work for any still frames or video. So jumping into our timeline from the top down, the, the top one I have the the desert, and if I turn that off, I have that cloud shot. This one, I have this cloud shot, but I did something to it. And I'll show you in a second. And then I have the stars. Now let's jump over to what I actually did. In the inspector, this guy's perfectly fine. Um, for the for the, for this, just because I wanted to get the effect of the northern lights, and I really didn't have anything that would be similar to that without going and recreating it in like uh, fusion. So instead of doing that, I just grabbed some clouds, and then I just did a directional blur and a pretty intense directional blur. And then I moved it up just a little bit because the, the way that the clouds were positioned, I wanted to make sure that it was up in this area. Um, so I had to move it up a little bit. And finally, the last one is just uh, the stars. So now let's go over into the color tab and see what I did. So here you can see all three of them stacked up. Okay, so this first grade, all I did is I just added blue into the bottom and then I have it just go up into black. Um, just the, its normal colors. I just added a little bit of blue down in the bottom area for the first one. Then I added those clouds and for the clouds, I added a alpha mat that goes up and it has it that's just done with a, a qualifier. That's all that is, it's just a qualifier. So the sky had um, less saturation or had more saturation because it was blue. So I just pulled anything with a lot of saturation. I got rid of that. And then um, after that, I just added some color to make it sort of look like what's in this shot. So these Northern lights. And then I came over to this guy so i first started off with just the majority of this color grade <clears throat> and then as i was working through the sky i just added the uh, purple to the top of the sky and then the blue in the bottom and then um, down here i just darkened the ground and the ground actually had uh, colors in it so i darkened it i turned it blue and I pulled out any other color out of that area. When I came over to this guy, I, to make my alpha mat, but then I had to, it was getting, it was kind of getting rid of a lot of stuff down here. And if you, if we zoom in down, if we look at the bottom, all of these like little specks are actually that, that shot of stars. So I had to add in a key mixer and then bring back that whole bottom area so I could have it, you know, with these actual trails and have it just grass. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the look that I got out of this. Now, let's be honest, they probably spent, you know, a, a considerable amount of time working on this and there's probably a bunch of different layers that are in this to give this effect. So yeah, with a little bit of work, I was able to create something that is, I would say, 
pretty similar to the end product without putting a ton of time. The biggest problem that I had with this was um, when I was pulling this key so I could have the top half up here, what I decided to do, as you can see down here, when I click over here, is I was getting, um, well I tried doing a here with everything and then that just really wasn't working. So then I just got rid of the luminance because once this whole grade was done, once this whole grade was done, it was really dark up here. So I was like, okay, I could pull this darkness, but obviously down here, it's gonna be really dark as well. So it took me a little while to figure that guy out. But once I figured out that I would just have to key this first and then make another node, and then I use power windows to uh, you know, fill this in and then have them go both into a key mixer and then have that go to the output that was when i finally was able to bring the whole look together where i had one part of of the shot alpha but then still preserving another shot it took me a little a little bit to, f to figure that one out but i was able to do it and like i said with a little bit of time and maybe using a couple different um video files or picture files you could definitely get something that that looks a little bit better one of the other things that i noticed right before i started filming is i had more of a blue because I, I just remembered in my head like oh it's you know it's blue and purple uh, but this is actually if you really look at it it's more teal than than blue so i could have pushed this more in, in into the greens to get that teal but hey i think that with a little bit of time that that i that i put into this that uh, it came out to, to look you know pretty close to this. If I had someone walking across, I think that uh, I could definitely sell this, um, as well as now I'm looking at it even more. This is getting into purples where this is just kind of falling off um, into like a pink haze. But yeah, that's my take on this particular uh, frame within the Black Panther. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, my name's JR, and I'll talk to you later.